Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be applying the Isle of Paradise Tanning Water. This is the medium self tanning water with color correcting actives to even skin tone. This is vegan friendly, cruelty free, and organic. So I actually did a video on this before, but that was in Virginia in my other apartment. And it's been a while since I used this, and it's actually been a while since I self-tanned. So I really wanted to apply this stuff today. I was actually gonna go out to the pool and lay out, but it's almost fixing to rain. It's so gloomy and dark outside. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity to apply a self-tanner. So I get a lot of questions about this product on the first video that I did. So if you have any new questions, go ahead and leave them down below. I'm gonna show you how I apply this today, but if you wanna know anything else that maybe I don't mention in this video, just ask me. I always respond to my comments. So real quick, a little bit of information about this product. I'm just gonna read from the back really quick. If you don't wanna hear this, just skip over it. So this self tanning water has color correcting actives plus a green base for a natural golden glow with no streaks. There's no smell or orange tones. It's formulated with super balance complex to reduce redness, calm the skin and improve your karma. Girl. So this is packed with organic tanning actives plus avocado, chia seed and coconut oils for a happy hydrated glow. All right, so the directions on the bottle says exfoliate 24 hours before tanning. Just exfoliate your skin really well to take off that layer of dead skin so that your self-tan will be more even and more gorgeous and it won't be stuck to any dry patches. You're supposed to moisturize dry areas such as hands, feet, knees, ankles, and elbows prior to the application. So you just take a little lotion and apply it to the super, super dry spots. Exfoliating will also help your tan just be more beautiful and help it last longer. So this says to mist until skin is totally saturated, covering face, hands, and feet last before blending with a tanning mitt using sweeping motions. Thoroughly wash your palms after use. It says your tan will develop in four to six hours, so in the meantime, eat some ice cream, watch a movie, call a girlfriend, just don't get your tan wet while it develops. It also says you can carry out a patch test 24 hours prior to application. Do not apply on broken, irritated, or hypersensitive skin. This is made in the UK. You can find it at Sephora. I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out or also theisleofparadise.com. Lots of ingredients here. I'm not going to read off. But I wanted to tell you guys, when I use this product, I actually just use my hands. Even though the formula is green, it's actually clear when you apply it. So, so I don't have a problem with putting it on with my bare hands. If I was using a dark tone tanner, then I would probably want to use a mitt. But I use this just with my bare hands. But if you want a really good mitt, um, I got this one from Amazon. This is from Giselle Cosmetics. And it's a self tanning mitt. It's like this velvet mitt is super comfortable, fits my hand perfect, and it feels really good. So you could apply it with the mitt if you want to, or your bare hands. If you were using a colored, like a foam or a dark toned tanner, I would definitely recommend a mitt. So yeah, you can get these on Amazon pretty cheap. I will link it down below. But let's get started with the application of the tanning water. So for the video, I'm just going to do the parts of my body that you can see. And then off camera, I'm going to do the parts that you can't see. So I have a bathing suit underneath this tank top and shorts just so I'm not wearing like something nice underneath. Um, I've never had a problem with this product staining my clothes or anything, but just in case, I say a bathing suit and loose clothing would be nice to put on after you're done applying it. I'm also standing in my shower right now, in my bathtub. I have a towel laid down just so that it doesn't get all over the bottom of the shower and so it doesn't get on the bottom of my feet. I'm gonna go ahead and shake up the bottle because it's been a while since I used it, so I just wanna be careful. But I wanna show you guys how easy this is to apply. So just so you see me now, I'm probably not gonna get my back, but this is my color now, and then I'm gonna show you the color after. You can actually spray directly on. It's a super fine mist. So you can do that, and then just rub it in. It actually has a light, clean smell, and it's super moisturizing, and even though there's no color guide for you to know exactly where you're putting it, it is wet looking. 
if you can see that. So when you're applying it, you kind of know where you're putting it. It doesn't dry super fast, so you have that chance to see exactly where the product has gone. So I've completely covered that arm, and now I'm going to do the same with this arm. Just completely saturating my skin. Probably gonna go in with a little more on this arm because I didn't get it all the way. You can also spray it directly in your hand and apply. Now, if this dried super fast, I would probably have trouble um, with knowing where I put it. It would be hard, but since this is like wet when you apply it, you can kind of see exactly where it's going. As you can see, there's no color on my hands. I'm going to apply it all over my legs. This stuff is actually really easy to use. It's one of the easiest tanners I think I've ever used. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera off and do the rest of my body and I will see you in a minute. So it's been about five minutes since I completely applied the product to my skin. I went ahead and put my shirt back on and my shorts and all that. Um, I would give it about five minutes to be almost dry. I still feel just a smidge bit moist or sticky. Um, but I think you can go ahead and put your clothes on after about five minutes. So um, I'm gonna apply it to my face now. I applied it to my feet and the back of my hands and as you can see, my hands are not dyed. That's just my natural color, <laughs> but they're not dyed. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face now. I'm gonna squirt it in my hands. And I'm just gonna apply it just like you would a moisturizer. Don't forget your neck. I actually already did that when I was doing my body. So I did this another time off camera when I was in Virginia and I decided to leave it on longer than four to six hours. And I don't recommend that because I feel like the color develops a little too much. I would shower after four or six hours, like the directions say, because um, I wasn't orange or anything. There was a little hint of orange, but I wasn't like, oh, I look like an Oompa Loompa. But um, it was just a little bit too much. So four to six hours should be good. Take a little shower. I wouldn't wash with a wash rag because that's going to wipe off the color that you just applied. And um, I would just use a gentle, mild soap and your hand or just rinse off with water. I mean, if you're already clean, you're just trying to rinse off the product, just rinse with water. So I'll see you guys back in four to six hours. It's 12.23 now, um, I have nothing better to do, so this is good to do on a day when you have literally nothing to do, but you wanna get a little color, you wanna do a little fake tan. So we'll see how I look when I come back. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will answer them the best I can. I might not have all the answers, there might be more answers on the website, but yeah, I'll try to answer any questions you might have, but uh, hopefully, I look real good when I come back. <laughs> we'll see. Also, a quick reminder, don't get your skin wet after applying this. So don't do anything that's gonna make you sweat. Um, like when I was just washing my palms just now, I had to be kind of careful because I felt the water splash on me a little bit. So be careful when you're washing your hands or whatever else you're doing. Just try not to get your skin uh, wet and try not to sweat. So really quick, this is my legs before, and I'll give you an after shot later. So it's been three hours since the application, and I am starting to see some color developing. Okay, so like I said, it's been three hours since the application. I'm just showing you guys my arms. I didn't really get my back. I tried to as much as I could, but it didn't really work that well. But um, I can see a huge difference in where my tan lines were. So you can see that the color is developing good and my face is looking a little tan. Um, so I'm gonna wait a few more hours and then I'm just going to do a quick shower. I'm not gonna scrub because I don't wanna scrub off my tan. But I will update you guys again before I shower. 
All right, so it's 4.45. That means it has been almost five hours. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower. Color's looking good. Okay, so here I am just showing you the arms, the face, chest, and all that. And um, so I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna give you another report after showered. Um, a little bit of this may, may rinse off a little bit, but um, I'm still gonna have a good little color going on, so. I'll see you after my shower. Okay, so I just got out of the tub. I did not use a washcloth, but I did use soap. And um, I try not to do too hot of water, which is kind of miserable because I wanted to be in scalding hot water. <laughs> but um, I just did kind of like medium temperature, okay. So yeah, I just washed with some soap and my hand just to get like, you know, that initial application off. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell a difference, but I sure can, especially on my face. Now I don't have any face makeup on, but once I like do my face makeup and everything and everything's blended, I'm gonna look amazing, girl. Malibu Barbie right here. All right, so going back in this mirror, because this is what I was using all day to show my legs and stuff. Um, this is the finished product. This is a shot of my legs in the light, or in the natural sunlight. Um, there is no orange tones. I think it all looks pretty good. I also did not shave because I didn't want to shave off that top layer. I'll just shave tomorrow. But um, yeah, I think it looks pretty even <laughs> with my golden hairy arm. So anyways, tell me what you think. Leave me your thoughts down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and um, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to check in next day. I literally just woke up, so I look crazy. But anyway, can you see the color? It developed even more, so. I didn't even realize it till I looked down at my legs and I was drinking coffee and I was like, oh, this got me extra tan, okay, all right. Hey girl, hey. Um, by the way, if you're watching this video and you're wondering what all that is, that is scars from my accident. But yeah. Definitely not complaining. But look at this. See this, see the, like, that part? <laughs> That's because whenever I was washing my palms, I guess the water like dripped. So that's that. But anyway, I just wanted to do um, this next morning check-in because I didn't realize I don't know if it did this last time, if I just forgot, but it just seemed to develop even more. Even after I bathed. But what do you guys think of my color? Look, my face is totally different than my arm. Anyways. Okay, well I'm gonna end the video now. Bye.